almost counterbalancing each other. We're going to see how this one goes as we get into our first game on Demon Island. Ooh, Machete with a very different start to this one. When we saw him with Heisen, he went for the weapon immediately, got that big start, and got a lot of damage really quick. Okay, here we go. Tenix, nice little wait right there. Find, does find the uh, extra off of that air dodge. So this is, you know, I feel like this matchup in, in general was just two characters I definitely like to see quite a bit. I don't think I see as much Fate as I would think, seeing that she's such a good uh, orb legend. But when I do see Fate, I do like to see it pop off, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see how this one uh, plays out. Another one of those situations where you have a weapon Ooh. that can definitely space around the uh, attacks of a gauntlet. So, the classic tale of I'm trying to get in and then I'm trying to keep you out. Here we go. Ooh, it's a little bit of a weapon toss. Dodges through the side, Sig. Of, of course, uh, a Val classic, right? Especially on Demon Island. Just throw those side Sigs on the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Man, I thought he was going to that synth. I feel like a synth right there would have definitely landed over, but instead just drops off with the, with the dare. Okay. The dodge through. Damage relatively even between the two of them. Oh, yeah. No side air connection. It's going to be the recovery. Tenix with the first stock. Okay, Tenix, yeah, definitely looking good here. Throws that weapon way up. Is going to decide to keep the sword as his weapon or for the second stock. See if he can get a weapon, to, uh, weapon star going. Misses the recovery, though, just reaching a little far, so... Ooh, but a nice gravity cancel inside of that one. Avoids the side light with the spot dodge and then gets that down light for some extra damage. Wait a minute. Tenix, yeah, I mean, it's doing a, a pretty decent job at least preserving the stock for quite some time until Machete finds it. You know, he's, you know, I think he caught the recovery there on, or the recovery frames of that recovery as he kind of pokes his head just a little too far up above the edge. Nice punish right there from Machete, who's now trying to get back into this game. He felt himself a little lead. He's going to go ahead and get on the orb. As we were talking about yesterday, yeah, the orb, you know, I feel like this weapon hasn't been really been getting talked about as much for the sole fact that, like, everyone's talking about gauntlets, but the orb is still, it's still a very, very nice weapon. You get so much done off of just one combo. <laughs> yeah, I got to agree with you, man. Like, getting one good read with the orb is, it's so valuable, but right now the end sig is clearly the value for Tinix, as oh, that yeah. is going to be another KO. But Jete's finding no momentum. He is not getting the dodge reads that he wants against Tinix. Okay, here we go. Machete. Tenix. Okay, he's going to get a couple hits here, but he's got to go ahead and get way more uh, damage you know, involved if he wants to go ahead and finish this game as quick as possible. But here on the other side of thing, Machete, uh, yeah, I feel like he's going to start reaching for uh, some of these SIGs, I think, right now. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Might not get a chance touch. to reach. He's gone. Yeah, what a down hair right there from Tenix. Threatening at first with the SIG, and then immediately after that, keeping it going with the down air. I like this little fort. <laughs> First time I've seen that. That's cute. Yeah, that is uh, with the new uh, map for the new Ezio. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes the sense. New background. Okay, yeah, all the yeah, all <laughs> all the stacks of hay that you dive into. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, Florence. I think is what's called the Florence rooftop and Florence terrace, uh, depending on the one v one, two v two version. But we're getting into this one. Uh, I don't think that map is in the tournament pool just yet. But we got Machete making the swap over to Jay Yun. It's what worked earlier on in his top eight match. Uh, we'll see if it works out here. Okay. As we get in to it, we got, uh, you know, I just said, we saw this earlier. This is what he uh, actually won with to get, you know, this far into the bracket right now. Let's see if this great sword can do something for him. But I guess that was kind of interesting, you know, to see uh, the fate then, because now you got a full swap over. You know, you, you've taken both your weapons and thrown them to the side for two new weapons as you have the great sword and the sword now. Instead of uh, you know what you were using with the orb and the side, and it seems like this great sword is definitely doing its work. You know, great sword came out, was amazing, had to nerf a little bit, but I feel like the players are still doing a, a great job of uh, doing what the great sword does well, and that's forcing out a dodge and then getting a big punish off of that. Yeah, if you get that one dodge read, great sword can get so much capitalization. Very similar to orb, very similar to scythe. But right now, Machete needs to get that stock of side air. Not even going to put Tinix off screen, so he needs a little bit more damage before we can think about that KO. But Tinix with a recovery might be able to take this first stock. Okay, wow. Okay, Machete coming down pretty aggressively right there. Now, uh, neutral area also going to hit as well. The recovery not going to find it, though. Hold on. Who, yeah, who's going to get that first stock? Nice punish right there from Machete. He is kind of hurting, though, so see what he decides to use right here. Looks like he's going to keep the great sword. Uh, interesting mix as you just ooh. dance around his opponent uh, while well, who's still in invincibility. So, ooh, almost got the read on that one. Yeah, I mean, that that uh, dancing on an invulnerable person is just trying to bait out a dodge, right? Oh, like yeah. He's trying to get you to panic and then get that swing. But right now he needs to survive. 
Side air will get some. Okay. Yeah, not enough movement. I was like, the GCN gives a lot of verticality, but I don't mm -hmm. think he had the horizontal movement. Not, not enough speed in the character. Yeah, I mean, that would have been insane if I, he made it back from there. I was like, we, we need to talk about this. Like, <laughs> that's a lot of distance he had to cover with one uh, GC, uh, you know, GC. But either way, still has a little bit of a lead here. One thing, yeah, you one of the things you definitely have to watch out for as the great sword uh, player, though, is that any of those moves that hit the ground do have quite a bit of lag to them, as you can see. Does still get punished right there. Okay, trying to get him with the side sig. No, okay. That's a little two piece, but Machete responds with a three piece of his own. That great sword was still active. Tinix had to get off that wall. All right, Machete, little side light. Actually, oh, okay. What a weapon toss right there from Tinix. I think I feel like he might have yeah he might have stuffed a uh, sig right there, but couldn't stuff it for too long. Got one, you know, got to live to see another like five seconds, and that's about it. And now Tinix. You know, not too far off of getting the stock. No weapon in hand, though, unfortunately. Thri <laughs> triple taps him with the sidelines. Got to get the damage where you can. Machete now back to the great sword. Another recovery. Tinix needs to get this stock off. Side stick not going to connect. That's a burn dodge, so Machete immediately goes in. I think that was a three piece off the stair to start that one off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh. Oh, man, these reads right here. Oh! oh! Okay, what a way to turn that thing around, you know, picking a whole nother character and then coming in with the fresh two stock, the hard reads at the end. Yeah, I know you love to see it right there. Machete, I know he's got to be feeling good about that. Yeah, he's like, this is why I made this swap. Great sword all day, every day. And we're going to see Tinix now forced over to the Caspian, the character he was playing on, uh, playing earlier today. He wants those guitars. He wants those gauntlets. Man, love the slow-mo too, because like, the you know, the big sound changes. To yeah. <laughs> Everything sounds like so much more brutal here in... Uh, in slow mo, but yeah, this here it is the great sword obviously coming out and doing what it needed to do 385 to 536. The great sword doing 372 of that damage now. Obviously, 163, not not uh bad damage to scoff at when it comes to the sword for as much time as he was on it, but yeah, obviously, the great sword is what really brought him home on that second game. Now, moving in to the third game, we do have Caspian out, so the gauntlets stay, but the but the guitars come out. Let's see what he can do with this. Well, he's got to get a weapon first. There's the spawn, gets the Katars, needs to get stacked up. That's what he's looking for with this Caspian pick because the Greatsword doesn't have a lot of stacked options. Tinix is trying to outspace and then get inside. There's the end sig. Yo, the swap is already looking good. Yeah, I was going to say too, you know, th that's the thing about uh, Caspian is he has deceptively long range because of his sigs. Like, yeah, you have two short range weapons, but all of his sigs are like some level of projectile or him jumping. So, like, he is, you know, he's going to be able to hit you from a little bit of a distance with a less, you know, less safe move, but it still is uh, some good distance altogether. And when you're using it like that, it can be a little hard to punish. It is going to be all sent off of the Katars, though. So he did a lot of good damage with it, but it doesn't matter as he ran out of options to get back to the stage, holds that down air on the dome, and he is going to be sent off that first stock. Machete having a nice little lead here. Goes in again. Gets the read. He's so good at that, like, oh, we're going off stage. Let me just do a quick jump side air and catch the opponent out. Getting some more damage built up. Swaps over to the sword, just trying to deny weapons from Tenix. Avoids that recovery as well. Hey, Tenix. Oh, hold that. Oh, that's a burn dodge. Tenix, yeah. I mean, you, I was like, there's no way you had that many. Oh, my God. What a way to come back. Like, there's no way he has that many, like, options left. But he manages to, to string it all together, get back to the stage. Just not lasting long enough. Man, this swap was looking good for the first <laughs> part of the uh, the first stock. And now it, it's looking like we might, you know, let's go next. <laughs> let's go next for sure. It is just not working. He's got to be careful. In particular, like, those gravity cancels. He's trying to do those wake-ups. And Machete is hard punishing them. Machete, yeah, Machete is definitely outspacing him. Every time Tinix comes down with an option, is actually getting at least uh, two or three hits getting hit on him. And because of that, now, you know, he finally ends up getting a stock, but he's got so much work to do if he wants a chance to uh, win in this W. And with the, you know, with the guitars, he could go a little crazy off stage and hope for the best, but he's got to get him off stage first. Hasn't really been able to force too many situations like that until right now, maybe? No. Did you get a nice, a nice two piece? Didn't really get punished for it as well. Maybe just some safe damage is all Tenix needs to get, but he eats a down air from Machete. He's got Machete at least off of his uh, scarier weapon with, of that uh, great sword, so I'm going to make something happen now that he's on the regular sword here. Sighting. Okay, turn it around. You know, sometimes you, you get body for a stock, and then you turn around and start doing it yourself now. We got down to the last stock. He is kind of hurt, and the great sword is back in Machete's hand. Can Tenix pull this off? Other thing, Yo. too, Tenix has not really used his gauntlets at all in this match. No, this is all about the Katars. He made the swap and immediately 
It's working out. Yo. Yo, the comeback? He's doing it. Odd side sig there. Likely was expecting the neutral sig. Oh, okay. He tried to side sig. You saw him kind yeah. of pull the arm back. Yeah, bro. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. nice. Oh, nice. You see Machete, like, realizing what he's looking for. Managed to bait that one out. Tenix. Now. Ooh. Ooh. Almost called out the jump there. Tenix puts Machete off stage. Misses the weapon toss. Machete. He's going to live for a little bit. He has weapon control as well. Okay. Hold on. Oh, Ooh. looks for the recovery. And doesn't seem to matter, though. I don't think he's actually touched the stage. He might have. Right, he yeah. did get, manage to get the stage wherever, though. The recovery from under the stage is not going to be enough. Tossing right back over to the, the regular sword. So he, he sees the, the ender right here. He's probably going to look for that recovery oh. one more time. Oh, wow. That or just the side air to take it. And that... Very close game that developed right near the end because I mean yeah if you look if you looked at this game and turned the stream off when you saw the three ones yeah. you'd be very surprised at the, the ending results of this game. Tinix was definitely bringing it back at the very last moment. There was trying to survive against the sword. And you saw Machete very actively say, "I'm gonna stick with the sword for that KO potential." Didn't oh, yeah. want the great sword in those final moments. But man, that was that was pretty close. Six oh two yeah. to six ten. I definitely got to see the damage uh, spread difference right here between the weapons though because that was. Yeah, that was something. I mean, it felt like it was definitely all Qatars and maybe like 38. Okay, I was going to say 38. I was a 10 off right there. Yeah, that man did not use any of those gauntlets at all. So probably going to pull the same thing here in this next game as he stays with the Caspian. Let's get it. All right. Final opportunity here for Machete. Uh, for Tenix, Machete up currently 2-1. Tenix already sweat beating as Machete gets some damage built up. Yeah, so we got a, you know even start right here. Nothing too crazy happening just yet. No one's got the super uh, big opening, but Tenix is getting a little more done here on the gauntlets this time around. Okay. Yeah, you're not even. Ooh. Oh, okay. So he's gonna keep the gauntlets, or he's gonna no, he's gonna okay. swap over to the guitars. But he did at least get a stock with the gauntlets, so the gauntlets have been useful <laughs> uh, as far as this fourth game goes. He's like, I did, I, I'm in my quota, right? I yeah. did enough work with the gauntlets. Now it's time for the guitars to come out, put out that big damage. He's got a full stock advantage over Machete, and I'm surprised he didn't throw a side sig on Machete, who was kind of stuck in stun frames after uh, whipping that uh, grounded attack from the greatsword. Okay, ten x. Has to get back to the stage. Manages to do that. Takes a couple hits right there to the dome. Okay, Tenix kind of moving on him right now. Spacing game. Side sig almost does it. Small Brawl Haven doing Machete no favors right now. Oh, okay. Well, until there. But yeah, it yeah. definitely took a little bit. You know, he had to, he had to pray to the to the Small Brawl Haven gods a couple times for them to finally like hear no. his prayers. So got a lot of damage right there out of nowhere. Try to get a, a fancy with the weapon toss in that combo as well. And here it is. This is where it gets a little scary. Machete has been doing it up on this great sword. Dodges out this time. Oh! oh! That thing looks so disrespectful, too, because he's not looking. <laughs> he's so casual. Yeah. Just throws it over the shoulder. Hits him, takes him out. And again, Machete, uh, a stock behind. All right. Love to see it, though, man. You know, he's getting all the usage out of these, uh, you know, well, these gauntlets and his guitars now. Kind of bringing it all together. Woo! Yeah. Big slice. And now he gets his pick of weapons. He's going to likely stick with the greatsword here as we are in game number four. Tinix on his tournament stock. And, and, you know, obviously Machete's greatsword has been going pretty crazy too. Tinix finally finding himself a weapon, but let's see what Machete can do to play around it. Tinix can actually get this to a game five. Okay. Nice. Can't off really stage. Get to, yeah, off yeah. stage. Couldn't get anything off that, unfortunately. Tenix likely wants the Katars, but Machete going to steal out the weapon spawn. Different greatsword. I feel like Machete is looking for a lot of air dodges in, and that's like, as a as a platform fighter, that's a great guess because most people want that, uh, you know, obviously they want that center stage, but Tenix hasn't really been giving it up too much yet, so I think at this point in time, you know, you got to start going Ooh. for the outside dodge. Tenix almost grabbing it from middle. I think that would have KO'd yeah. from middle stage. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the bombs in the back, a lot of force on that for sure. Oh, oh punish. This is the ground pound, though. Okay, both of them making it back. Man, that was yeah, super scary right there from both sides. Ground pounds, uh, both missing, but oh, that's yeah, a one hit. That was it. Oh, Tenix going to find the recovery. We got a game five. Man, yeah, just a little overextension there from Machete. You'll be able to see here in this replay, but Tenix with the perfect punish on that, seeing the, you know, the man go over him. Easy start right there for Tenix on the gauntlet. So, hey, you know, maybe the gauntlet really was... Uh, the key to success right here. Not to say that his guitars probably didn't do some good damage here, too, because I, I did see a, quite a bit of guitars play, but all kills with the gauntlets. 
Yeah, that was, a, that was a tough spot, right? Like, Machete tried to read a panic jump off the sidelight, and Tinix ended up fast falling, so he got underneath and hit that recovery. But here we go, game five, no swaps. It is uh, the final moments for both of them. Oh, yeah. Clock is, I mean, when you see the, the clock on Apocalypse, it's definitely ticking uh, for one of these guys to lose the bracket run. So we're going to go ahead and find out who ends up uh, moving on here as we get into our game five situation. We're seeing a lot more of the uh, regular sword come out from Machete. There's the weapon spawn. Doesn't get it. Tinix is denying weapon spawns from Machete, but he gets one out of the air. Okay, hold that. He's going to make it back to the stage. Answer? Yeah, I was like, he, he's, he's hovering around yeah. that platform like that's what he wanted. And Well, you know, he got it the second time, though. Very smart right there from Tinix. Those SIGs, I mean, I promise you, man, those SIGs from, uh, from Caspian hit a little harder than you expect because these people are flying after these. Yeah, they are uh, KOing for Tenix. Machete already behind Tenix getting more damage put out. Machete's recovery not going to be enough. And Sig not going to connect. Yeah, he's definitely forcing Machete to think about his landings as far as, as far as that platform goes. He's, you know, every time uh, Machete is landed on the side of the platform, those neutral six have come out from Tenix, who still sitting on this first stock, hasn't lost it yet. Good uh, air dodge to the weapon toss. Okay. Now we get the side air. Though. Yeah, Machete. Gets one. Oh, but okay, okay it still okay. works. Okay. Yeah, I was like, he was a little too high up for the side air, but maybe that was just coverage. You know, had he tried to air dodge up right there, he's going to get hit by that, but because he didn't, just takes the down air instead. Kind of checkmate situation there for Machete. Ooh, some trickiness coming out from Machete as well as he goes for that weapon toss mix up into some unarmed nair. Was hoping that it would probably bounce off of Tinix, but he's done what he needs to. He's evened up the damage. Oh. Machete. Gonna move, move a little further away from right there, Tinix. Nice. Okay, catch the jump. Puts him off the stage. See what he can do with it. Try to catch another jump right there, but no, this time Machete going low. Who doesn't catch the air movement from Tinix? Things getting more tense on both sides. They're trying to be a little bit safer as Tinix throws out a gravity cancel side sig. Okay. Nice. Running out of movement in the side air. Machete with the lead. Like that, Machete they only hit in the second part, too, so probably a little surprised. Tenix probably wasn't expecting him to come out there so quickly, but now he kind of lines that up perfectly. So Machete now putting Tenix on his tournament life stock. Will he be able to go ahead and close this thing out right now? But Tenix is back on the guitars, and the guitars have been doing quite well since the, since the you know, introduction of, the, of them in this set. Here we go. Who went for the jump read, didn't hit the side air, hits the neutral sig, though. Machete in full control, doesn't pick up the side air off that down line. Kind of an awkward interaction with that wall. Machete, nice. They catch him on the other side too, Tenix. He's going to be able to get through that. It's looking a little scary here for Tenix, though, for, for sure. Ends up finding that nice good uh, stuff right there to go ahead and push him off the stage and get the stock as well. No questions asked about that recovery, uh, taking that stock with, with that smoke trail. So now, Last stock for everybody right now. Tinix super hurt, though, unfortunately. And you are playing against Jay Young. Oh, again, still looking for the dodge. Yeah. And Tinix not giving that up. He's being very smart about it, making sure he doesn't get that dodge in because Machete keeps going for that read. But Tinix gets disarmed. Machete, we saw those side airs. He swaps over to the greatsword. Okay, he's out of there. Finally gives him a dodge in, but this time just to get back onto the stage. Oh, he sweat beat it. Yeah, Machete knew it. That is game five. Going the way of Machete. He has earned his spot. In the top four. Yeah, man, good stuff to Machete. The, obviously, both of them swapping over to the character that got them uh, to the game five within Machete bringing out the Jayun, and then, of course, Tenix bringing out the Caspian. But Machete is going to go take it in the stretch. I know that's got to feel good now. Again, I think I'm very interested to see the amount of times that we saw for those inner, you know, those inward reads. Because, yeah, yeah I just did not. I, I feel like I almost never saw Tenix go <laughs> for an air dodge in. So I think he was like, He's like three uh, Yomi levels deep when he would still need to be at like level one or two. So it happens though. Sometimes you're like, all right, this is going to be the time that he finally.